The sky had been black for a month. Each shuffling hoof picked up another cloud of choking dust, fine as talcum powder. Slowly the herd collected around the small lake, for gasping for breath, they collapsed one by one into the soft mud. Here we are, Dr. C's Excellent Adventures in a really sort of out of the way place. It's pretty bloody incredible. This is Ashfall State Park in Nebraska. It's not close to anything in particular, but there's a spectacular collection of animals that were buried in an ancient volcanic eruption 11.8 million years ago, and they're being excavated and left in their positions in this, the rhino barn that's over my shoulder here. And it's pretty amazing to think of a volcano erupting in Idaho that was able to smother animals this far away in Nebraska. So this is quite an exceptional place. Some old homeless guy cleaning up down at the bottom of this. This is absolutely incredible. So we know for sure that the ash fell into water. And we think it was actually water that attracted... Are, are those wave the ripples down there? They're, uh, they seem to be oscillation ripples. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. They, uh, yeah, that's what they look like. Uh, but that's, that's it. They're, they're quite symmetric. And uh, we don't see any, any evidence of current through here. Apparently it was, it was still. So did, now does that imply that this was going on for weeks or months? We of think just... it probably took from the time that the initial ash fall occurred until the uh, the last gasp of, of ash could have been a year or so. Okay. Uh, we think it took about two or three weeks for the animals to die and get buried. They definitely weren't buried alive. They all have a, a, a condition on their skeletons that indicate that they died of lung failure from inhaling the ash. Uh, that process probably took, you know, maybe even as much as a month. Really but bad the ash, asthma. Uh, would yeah. continue to fill into this low spot until it was presumably filled to the brim, and at that point, uh, there was a uh, some fluvial sand deposited on top of the ash, and uh, the same species of, of critters apparently recolonized the area because we find. Uh, <clears throat> bones of the same kinds of camels and horses and, and uh, rhinos and so forth in that in that layer. But for the for the upper for the last six feet or so of, of ash deposition, apparently there was nothing alive. We don't find any sign of life in the in the upper part of the ash. Huh. Part, so. And so that's just, is that pretty much just a straight ash fall type deposit? Yeah, then it's, at that uh, point? it's just, it almost reminds me of, uh, of talcum powder. It's so fine. It's down, oh, just a few microns. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot, of, a lot of volcanic ash is quite gritty when, you, when yeah. you feel it. But this stuff is so far from the crater that only the finest particles made it this far. And if you trace this ash farther west, uh, <clears throat> the grain size increases. There's a map ah. on the wall that shows the Oh, excellent. Source. Yeah, I'll go have a good close look at and, that. And uh, when we were first finding fossils here in the 1970s, we had no idea where this ash came from. That was before they were really doing mm -hmm. chemical fingerprinting yeah. of, of ashes. It was before anybody realized that there were hotspot volcanoes, you know, basically really deep rooted ones. And now we know that well, the Snake the, River uh, plate plane, tectonics Idaho, was just getting into the textbooks. It was just getting books. started. That's yes, right. When, uh, I, when I was an undergraduate, yeah. they thought that was a fable in the mm -hmm. exhibit. And, uh, but take a good close look at the skeletons. They're <coughs> normally, in order to make <coughs> a fossil look like something interesting, <coughs> you have to take it to the lab and get it cleaned yeah. up. And, mm -hmm. But these things, since they were, were buried so quickly, they still look like animals. And the ash because comes it, off the, the bone pretty it, it easily? It does. It's, it's very soft. Oh, that's the, great. The students use uh, <clears throat> basically just little paint brushes and scalpels. And uh, so it's not, it's not hard work. The hard part is to avoid trying to go too fast because due to the fine grain size of the ash, 
the bones <clears throat> are really not mineralized much at all. They're, uh, mm -hmm. They still have a lot of the original bone material. They're, uh, so they, they have to be patient. But Here we have one of these guys that's laid out with all the labels on it. Yeah, that's a, that's a fiberglass cast of skeleton number two. The original is still in the ground, but our, our museum preparator painted the original with uh, uh, silicone rubber and uh, made that amazing uh, that, cast. I, I wouldn't have picked that out. That no, is no, really that's, high it's quality. Like, it's like the real thing. Directions and hours of operation are available on the park website. If at some point in the future you're planning a road trip from the west coast to Chicago, a side trip to Ashfall State Park will be well worth your time.